we first going to give you some examples of how chi works. Remember that when the arms are out, they have to have energy force. So the first part we're going to show you we call in Aikido unbendable arm. Okay, so your partner will place one hand under your wrist, palm up, the other hand on your bicep. Concentrate your center, but you're going to make your hand tense. This is going to be the wrong way. They're going to push down, try to bend your arm. Try to use physical strength. Bending it. <clears throat> physical strength, because the blood's not circulating, doesn't usually work that well. When you use a chi, the concentrate the dantians, feel the heaviness of the arm, energy goes out, and then as he bends, then you're using more mind, more chi, more energy. And this is going to be extremely important in how you do it. Now, the other part is when he's a pushing, same thing, using energy, force. So all of your motion has force. Now, if you're good at this and, and can work back, but, but first of all, do not do this, pushing towards you. <coughs> if you try to push, doesn't work because I push, he pushes, it's, it's not going to work. Well, how do you do this? Well, your dachians line up. You concentrate on long gong. Feel the energy force in your body. As you feel the energy force, don't accept his force. And so, what I'm doing is I can either disrupt his force, let it go down, let it go around, go, go anywhere. And then, so when he's a pushing, so here, keep pushing. Let go. So even here, I am not going forward. Okay. This is easy to do. This is the mind and body working together. Chi force. You can ward off or anything else. So first, so we understand that that works. Okay. So now we're looking at chi. How does the fighting work? Well, okay. If you sure. okay. Well, first of all. We have to get rid of this, right? I've got to get rid of it. The only way I can do any kind of fighting is to get rid of the arm. Well, unfortunately, because he uses chi, traditional, if you're trying to use um, strength, <coughs> not going to work. Remember this exercise? Tai Chi is soft. Because in the ear, moves in. more what we call a chi force in the ear. In your arm. Even more. More energy. And so this simple exercise moves down. Well we have they also have a step. Right? Well when when we watch these movements as we come in control moves in. Waste. So this is coming in, moves, bam. And this entrance breaks the arm, bam, whole body comes in. This is incredible. So it teaches you how to move in. We can look at how powerful the body is and understand that if we use what we look at ward off, which is really used the most, when the force comes in, body comes in. And this is our ward off. Continues, and then can go to in here. Okay, so this is the first the beginning. Give you some idea. The up motion works in a, a different way, in a kind of a, you gotta kind of look at this. And the up is really, I'd be coming in here, he's pushing down. So using it. Mm -hmm. So anything coming up is more like that. Now, when you see these movements or these movements, you're actually seeing this move. So like a snake moves in, comes up close to the body. And that's going to be giving you a good idea 
of how Tai Chi can begin pressing down or entering using the body. But most important is that when I do this, you'll see body moves in. And that is your first motion. And just com completes it. So this comes in, boom, moves in here. Because my body comes in. So understanding how to maneuver the body is important. This is the bottom of brush knee. This is bam, coming in. That's the bottom. This is the top. When the attack comes, boom, moves in, breaks, bam, comes in. It's of continuous force, continuous force, moves in, power, energy. Remember that Tai Chi, even though it stops, is still continuous, continuous energy. You can use the two hands here, more safe. But as this locks in, whole body comes in. And I can break the leg also and straighten. And there's your brush knee. You go back and look at my poison hands and everything else, they're all from Tai Chi. Everything. Mm -hmm. The forearm is magnificent because can use the whole arm. Using the whole arm can control. Not tense like a, a blocking, it's actually strike. Tai Chi has no blocks. 